uh, welcome friend uh, today I'm gonna show you how exactly you can insert uh, data using hibernate so I'm using Eclipse and I'm using hibernate jar file for all the dependencies so let me show you just go to the file and create new Java project and give the appropriate name uh, hibernate I'm naming it hibernate tutorial one mm. And I am selecting the walking set, but it is not necessary in your case. So I'm gonna select LBJ practice and I will click finish. So it will appear here. And now, what exactly we have to do is we have only JRE file here, right? So we have to right click and build path, go to the build path and insert all the dependencies which is needed for hibernate so guys uh, what exactly i am i'm going to do here is i already create the library for hibernate so if you want to see that one you can google it like how to uh, add dependencies hibernate dependencies in the file you will get uh, one of the best appropriate solution in internet so inside hibernate we have all the hibernate jar file which is needed to persist an object so uh, here we just inserted hibernate then again we need another jar file mm, let me insert it external jar and i'm going to i'm i'm using database postgres so we need one jdbc for postgres uh, for connection and i'm i'm gonna click ok and it is appear here so now let's start with hibernate now i'm gonna create one class uh, with the package name package name will be in the appropriate format so i'm giving here tutorial okay tutorial and hibernate and I'm giving user name uh, class name as user details right so click finish then it will create the package here and inside package I'm gonna declare to private string and I'm giving username so now create getter and setter for this one go to the source and generate getter and setter select all and go to the bottom after username and click ok so here we go so we already create user id and username and then we created uh, greater and setter for id and name now what we are going to do is we are going to create new classes new class and this will be the main class hibernate uh, hiber main class so it will be so there will be a main signature method we are gonna call okay static method behind so in hibernate main we are gonna call user detail so I am going to create an object for user detail Sorry, user details right so I'm gonna declare user detail and I'm going to set the ID the 
so in this case I'm gonna show you guys how to debug also if you are not able to understand like how to debug then it might be a great video for you guys So now we have to create the session factory. So for that one, uh, I already, I already wrote, I already wrote the code for that one. So I'm gonna copy and paste that one uh, to reduce my time. But what we have done, we are creating one session factory, uh, and then we are writing the configuration and creating the build session factory for that one and we are creating another session for opening the session and then we start the transaction and then we save that here and at the, at the end we just com commit that one let me show you guys okay uh, now let me import the session factory from here and let me import configuration from Java X security. Let me import another one. Let me import session. Import session. Let me show you what happened now. so we need to remove this one this is not the proper import which i have done so in that case i am gonna import again in the configuration file so we have to import this one right yeah okay now let's put the breakpoint over here 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 yeah so one main thing uh, i forgot to create we have to create one new hibernate configuration file so let's create the hibernate one configuration file so inside src i'm going to create hibernate dot cfg dot xml file so all the configuration will be goes inside this configuration file click finish here and then so in this case uh, if you have already installed uh, hibernate jar file so you can get hibernate configuration from that one so let me show you if you go to the document and if you have already ins insert hibernate release this one go here and then so you can download this hibernate release from the internet here go to go to that file and click hibernate configuration xml so it will start look start looking for the hibernate configuration sample file so we can copy that one mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me go and see which one. Ah, no, this is not the proper one. So go to the file. We have to be careful for that, like what exactly we are looking for. Right? And then click on the okay this one right so this is the proper one let's copy this one control all control c and then control b otherwise you can uh, google it hibernate configuration file example uh, you will get the same sample 
So what we have to do is we are going to make changes in Hibernate configuration file to connect our our Hibernate. So here go here Hibernate configuration file and our JDBC driver name is different. Here it is using uh, it's, it is using this one right local loss. So I am going to get another one control XML Okay, so in this case, uh, I'm I'm gonna use Postgres. So here in connection URL, I give the Postgres uh, path and I give the database name and I give the Postgres uh, SQL driver name. Where do you get that one? Is you you will get that one from here. Postgres SQL and inside Postgres SQL package there is a driver class. So you have to mention here and I give the username of my database postgres and the password for my database admin so here is my postgres database so i'm gonna open this one and i'll i'm gonna show you how exactly uh, we, we can insert our entities inside this table so here this is my database name already created so don't be panic you can use another database also my square oracle anything so in die dialect what we have to give is we have to provide the postgres sql dialect name uh, which we are going to use here so now and in entity class uh, you have to provide the proper entity class which you are going to mapping right so in this case i'm going to map pom bj tutorial spc pom bj this one T U T O R I tutorial dot H one B package. This one is my package name, I burn it and the class I am using is user details. So here one step is finished. Go to the user <coughs> detail page and provide the annotation here. So in this case I am gonna give entity E N T I T Y. So in entity you have to import the entity java x persistence and then in user id case we have to insert another annotation for id so i am gonna provide that one and import the necessary packages so here we go i think it's done now now i am gonna i'm gonna see i'm gonna run this one run as java application Okay, let me see if everything is right or wrong. Okay, everything is right, right? Okay, Hibernate we insert user detail into our table. So what we are gonna we are going to insert is 
uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna insert ID and username right so username will be ID will be one and username will be BJ Vendari. So let me go and check uh, whether it is inserted or not. Let's go here and let's go here and table inside table you have you are getting user details that is our entity class and let's click user detail and let me see the column. Okay, user ID and user name is already inserted here. <coughs> Sorry. And see the value. Yeah, one BJ Bandari is inserted. Now I'm gonna show you how exactly you you can debug this one also. So go here and debug as the application, and it will open the different perspective window, and you can see. Look, our breakpoint. I already inserted toggle toggle breakpoint over here, so it will go to this line, and in this line you are gonna see. Now it is went to the another line with set user ID. What exactly it's it is passed in set user ID is one and username is null because we did not insert it uh, username in the uh, line 14, right? So let me check with the another one. Okay, now in this when it comes to the step 15, what we have insert we already insert user one uh, and we already set username as Vijay Bandari so after it will go there and then we are saving here right let me go and see okay look in save user id it is already user one and with id but let me make it clear go down and again go down you can press f6 in your keyboard so it will go to the next step step over again and again 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 okay when we are here it is saving user ID as one and username as BJ Vendari. So the value which we have inserted is passing into the Java application. So thank you for watching guys and this is the end of Hibernate tutorial. I think you understand. If you have any problem just go and repeat the same tutorial one more time and sorry for the disturbance that the, I have made a little bit slow in the middle of the part. So sorry guys and thank you. Thank you for watching. Love you guys.